With the 2010 budget recently concluding, it's the students' turn to take center stage in a quiz on money matters. Students from schools such as NUS, Raffles Institution, and Dunman High came together on Friday for a battle of wits and speed. Over 300 students packed the Supreme Court Auditorium for the Ministry of Finance quiz finals, taking on economic questions like, "What is the key focus and objective of Budget 2010?" and "What would increase this year's GDP by the greatest amount?" We thought the questions were okay, but uh, we we were more comfortable with theoretical questions rather than the calculation questions because I guess it's very stressful to do the calculations up there. Yeah. Yeah, and、um, for some members of this team, maybe math is not really their forte. <laughs> <laughs> I find it quite challenging because、uh, this is the first time I'm actually exposed to this kind of macroeconomic questions, and you have to keep within the time limit to answer the questions. Yeah. Because、uh, we didn't have much time to do the questions, lah, compared to the prelims where we are given ample time. So it was quite a test of both、um, our brain and our guts. Sometimes you are not hundred percent sure of the the answer, but you just whack、uh, sometimes. <laughs> yeah. How, how do you find your, the quiz?、Mm. For me, the strategy is definitely different because for preliminary it was individual. So if you make a mistake, it's just your own. And although the total score was added up at the end, your team member won't really explicitly blame you or anything. <laughs> Now, whereas for this, it's also a team strategy. And then even the racing of cards, we must really agree on when are we going to take the race.、Right. So we came out. Were, so even for the final, we actually have meetings. Then we try to decide on finalize on a strategy on whether are we going to be risk loving or risk adverse in certain rounds. Right, yeah. Right. So I think that's. One huge difference. The speed round certainly tested the team's metal,、okay, but some were too eager okay, to beat the clock. Let's hear your answer. Okay, we we do not encourage this practice. Which was the most challenging part about the quiz? Oh, definitely the speed round. <laughs> It was really scary. the The host has not even finished reading out the questions. Hands will be up. And、um, partly, I guess we were to blame for that because we did that the first time. But still, that was really, really scary. I mean, everybody seemed to know what the answer was before the question was flashed. Right. Yeah, right. yeah not really the difficulty of the questions per se, but、um, the stress of answering it in a really short time. Yeah, and also the stress of should we raise the card? Should we not raise the card? Yeah. At the end of the day, two teams emerged victorious from the budget quiz finals. RI for the JC category. And NUS team two for the university category. Sometimes we have learned some of the key concepts before, but we, you know, over time we forget. Then is in this experience that we actually went back to revise all these things, and actually with all this new training and all that, we get fresh ex-、uh, perspective out of all this.、Um, it was very enriching for me because you get to learn things beyond just school curriculum. Yeah. Right. Right.、Mm. right. Uh, I find it quite interesting because it's actually beyond what the classroom can teach you, and it's. All real life applications of economics. Considering that this is the last semester for all three of us, I think we feel very happy that at least we use some we use our knowledge to some practical and try and win and win a prize.、Yeah. <laughs> the winners of both categories walked away with trophies and, of course, bragging rights. <laughs>